Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a trick that you can use if you have a simulation that's been signed off, you're on a tight deadline, and maybe the environment has changed, or it could be that you created a shoddy collision geometry, and now you just need a quick fix. So then you can do this. So let us first start by creating an RBD sim. So I'm going to drop down a geometry, and in here I'm gonna have a box, and this box I'm gonna have some divisions, I'm gonna have copy to points, and then I'm going to have another box, and then I'm going to connect these, and I'm going to go to this and just get the scale down a tiny bit, something like this, and I'm going to pack an instance, I was going to move it up with a transform, and just put some tiny rotation on it. Something like that maybe, or maybe even higher actually. Like so. So this is going to be our RBD packed objects, and now I just need a ground to collide with, so I'm going to have a grid. I'm going to set that to 50. I'm going to have a mountains up. I'm going to get the element size up to something like that maybe. And then I'm going to have a null, and this is going to be an out environment. And let's have it black. And then I'm going to drop down a DOP network. Connect this guy in here. And in here I need a rigid body solver. And I want some gravity. I want to have my packed objects. Set that to first contact geometry. And then I'm going to have a merge. And then the static object, that's going to be the ground. So let's connect that, make sure that is on the left side. Let's point to the environment. And if we simulate this, this would be that we have a shoddy collision geometry. So you can see they are over the ground here. And this is just because this is concave surface. So the actual collision geometry looks like this. So you can see it's hitting that, but it doesn't look like the ground geometry. Say that you've done this and you didn't notice because you didn't have any contact shadows. The VFX soup loves this simulation and now you are in trouble. But fear not, you can use this little trick. First let me filter out the ground here. Instead of star, which is every object from the sim, I change it to star RBD star, which means that we will only pick up objects with RBD in the name, which in this case are the packed boxes. Okay, so what I'm gonna use is a point deform. So I'm gonna connect the point deform to this. And what I need here, I want to have the rest geometry and then I want to have the deform geometry. So we have the deform geometry, that's gonna be this. So now we just need to have the rest geometry. And the rest geometry is the collision geometry that we're moving from. So in this case, we have this rubbish convex version of this. So if I do a convex hull and put that on this, now it's gonna match the rubbish surface in the simulation. And that is the important thing. The rest geometry must match the original collision geometry. In this case, this will do. For this to work, the topology needs to match up, which it doesn't currently. So what I'm going to do is take the ground and project it on the rest geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a ray, and then I'm going to take this geometry here. When I connect these, it almost works, but I'm also going to have a problem because I have a bottom and I have a top, and I want to make sure that I'm just colliding with the top here. So I'm actually going to move it up with a transform, Something like, now I know for sure that it will be above it. And then I can just, instead of direction from normals, I'm going to set it to vector. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to set this to minus one. And now you can see, now it's colliding with this geometry. Sweet. And so now I can just take that and put that into the rest. And then I can take this environment here and connect that to the deformed. So if we move this... 
you can see by doing that first it was here and now it's moved down here and if we merge it all together like so you can see now it's actually on the ground and if I play it poof, it seems to work cool there are obviously limitations if there is too much of a difference it's just not gonna look right but here, for example, it works great, and uh, a lot of times you can actually get away with it. So I hope that you found this useful, and see you next time.